the marag most popular career paths kai i want to be a doctor i want to be a nurse i want to be a teacher diba i want to be an astronaut those mm-hmm. are like the the most popular choices back then Hello mga do, mga dai. So karon guys, kay grabe kayo ang ato ang <laughs> nagkatawa siya kay okay po sa kung istorya. But anyway guys, I just want to greet everyone and welcome everyone na nandito ngayon at nagsumusubaybay talaga sa ating mga usapin tungkol sa OFW at buhay Pilipino. Nais ko lang pong iklaro po ang usapin po dito sa Frank Talks ay hindi lang sa mga OFW kundi sa kalahatan ng mga Pilipino kahit saan man sa mundo, kahit sa Pilipinas ka o anuman ang status ng buhay. Marami pong nagpapa hatid po ng mga mensahe tungkol po sa kanilang buhay at gusto din nila na ma-share iyon. Grabe ka exciting guys kay kani siya nga atong interviewon karon usa ni sa mga tawo nga maglakaw-lakaw sa eskwelahan nako sa una mura na siya gitawag namo sa uban di lang ko kaingon kay classmate magud nako ang iyahang iyahang igsoon pero matawag nako siya nga tawag ang hill sa lupa ah, di ba <laughs> ang hill sa lupa usa ni siya sa mga makit-an gyud mo lakaw lang ni siya head turner gyud ni siya bright pa jud ka ayo mm-hmm. usa ni siya sa mga mga banggiitan sa among eskwelahan. So shout out the ay sa Pardo National High School. Salamat kayo sa mga suporta. Actually nag-send jud ko og message sa mga friends nato sa Pardo no para mo support sad nato i magbisaya jud ko kay para man sad ninyo yung tanan. On <laughs> um, of course the main objective of this uh, talk is to really inspire people when it comes to deciding to going to abroad. Uh, continuing life kahit na may mga mga challenges paano ba natin ino overcome yung mga challenges natin sa buhay may mga challenges tayo sa Pilipinas at may mga challenges din tayo kapag tag abroad kahapon nga ay nagkwento tayo kay Ate Lingling isang DH sa Hong Kong at isa siyang teacher uh, sa Pilipinas at sobrang nabigyan siya ng gift of discovering a family in Hong Kong na hindi lang bilang helper yung pag-aaruga sa kanya kundi isang pamilya. Buong pamilya niya po ay tinatawag siyang grandma at sobrang saya ko talaga nung nakausap siya. Now, this time we will be talking about another success stories of her career and nasabi ko na nga sa reel ko kanina na nadala niya ang kanyang pamilya sa sa UK at Napaka exciting talaga na usapin yung nadala din niya ang kanyang mama sa 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 travel tour niya doon sa ibang bansa. And those are something that we really want to experience, maibigay ng sa maibigay natin sa ating mahal sa buhay. And make sure guys na paki shout out uh, isha shout out ko na rin yung lahat ng mga top fans natin dito sa Frank Ox. Okay, so thank you so much for supporting us. Continue lang po kayo. Malay nyo, kayo, kayo po ang ating mapipili na mga katanggap sa ating 100 tala. Okay, so of course, introduce ko na siya ng, <laughs> ng mas mas okay. <laughs> Alright, so here in Frank Talks, we will be talking with Bed Marie John. So marami ding nagtanong sa akin, sino Bed Marie John? John? Bed Marie? Ano ba? Babae ba siya o lalaki? So, <laughs> Siya na po yung mag, magsasabi ng totoo, okay? So, isang Pinay, okay, sinabi ko na, na nakatira sa United Kingdom ay totoo, makakausap natin at nadala na niya ang kanyang pamilya at, at namumuhay ngayon sa UK. Nakaka-proud kasi na paunlakan niya tayo sa first exclusive interview niya dito sa Frank Talks and hopefully ito yung first time din niya. <laughs> Make sure to click yung uh, tawag dito, yung like button at yung share para po uh, mas marami po tayong mapuntahan tungkol sa buhay ni ni, ni Miss Pad Marie. Alright, so let's go! Handa na ba? <laughs> Kinabahan ako. Alright. Buhay mo, ikwento mo, Miss Pad. Hello! Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Jesse. Oh sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry. I knew him as Jesse. So, you might okay lang, be confused ba? Okay, pero talaga ang mga <laughs> nagpo-comment sa akin na tawag nila sa akin is Jesse. So, mm. umustro ka na ako, mayungon ka na ako nga Jesse. Okay kayo. So, <laughs> akong mga guest ko, ang tawag nila Jesse, kasabot na na sila nga. 
kuan nga kailan nag na sila na ako. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, of course, please introduce yourself asa kakaroon sa 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 panig ng mundo asa makakaroon. <laughs> So, first of all, my name is Pad Marie. You can call me Pad. And I'm a nurse in the United Kingdom. So, I've been living here for almost four years now. And yeah, I was here during the COVID times. That's when I started working here. And yeah, I'm living with my family as well. Diba? So, yan, pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya. Alright? So, of course, uh, the main objective again is to really inspire our co-Filipinos and also yung mga nagbabalak na mag-ibang bansa at yung mga nasa ibang bansa na, na nagtatrabaho. Now, I want you to tell us the story of you <laughs> as a, yung pagpili nyo po sa profesyon na magiging nurse. Uh, was it a very simple or as easy na na decision na okay mo niya kung ganahan mag nurse jug ko mag graduate kay kung high school first year high school palang ko pang nurse jug ko inana ba ang dating or kung sa minisya ka ng wana jilain para madato ta mag nurse ta <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> sige so a little of everything that you said <laughs> so <laughs> so ano siya um when I was in kindergarten of course the the marag most popular career path sky i want to be a doctor i want to be a nurse i want to be a teacher diba? i want to be an astronaut those are like the the most popular choices back then so i was like i didn't really like you know seriously uh decide on it i was just like uh sinabi ko lang na okay i want to be a, a nurse but I don't really know if I want to be a nurse. And that as time goes by, as time went by, like in primary school, so I saw my aunt was a, a stewardess in a cruise ship. So I changed in yung plan ko. I want to be a stewardess or a flight attendant because um you know she she looks so beautiful. She travels the world. You know that one. And then when I was high school, na ako, like. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do anymore. <laughs> so, I think up until up until fourth year high school, that's when you get to decide which course are you taking in, right? Like if you're going to college or are you going to stop? So, obviously during that time, my family was in a um, very hard position financially. So I didn't even think that I will be like um, going to university by that time. And then by the grace of the, our Lord, you know, my blessings are coming. Someone um, um, sponsored me to go to school to uni. And then, yeah, I chose being a nurse because during that time, your nursing career is very was very booming. Kasi. Like everyone is going abroad. And then they say you will have a better life if you go abroad, right? So, yeah, I chose that because of that. And I remember, I don't know, do you have the um, before the Enkai? You have it? Oh, oh, nag Enkai ko ato yung 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 result is hindi pang nurse. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. gusto nilang mag engineer ako. <laughs> So, I took the end and then luckily, those are, uh, ano din, yung nursing is not sa result ko. So, okay, this may be the, ano, the good choice for me. So, yeah, I enrolled in nursing. Wow. So, na, me, meron talagang mga tawag dito, the, the blessing of the Lord goes to us in a mysterious way, diba? Uh, yes, that's true. Alright, so that's actually a very good thing kasi nangyari yun. But, what happened? Anong nangyari? Ano na graduate na po tayo. Anong nangyari like was it uh, ah okay pang ibang bansa talaga ako mag yoke ako kasi ganito or Ooh. were you able to work in the Philippines first gano? So I I didn't really after like well I was in university no I was like my aim is to go abroad my aim is to go to go like overseas to work have you know earn dollars and I yes. don't know yeah earn more so right after taking my um, board exam so i got married 
And then I I didn't like practice for a year. So after after a year, I applied to um to a hospital back in our province. And then like if you become a mom, kasi sorry, ah uh, yeah, I'm a mom. I have a family. I have a kid. So if you become a mom, kasi you always think about like just be staying with your family. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to go abroad anymore. Like. I, I think I buried it deep inside me, ba. Like I forgot about my dreams before I was, like before I become a mom. Mm-hmm. So yun, I didn't actually think about it. So three years passed by. I was working in this hospital, and then everyone in our department was leaving. Mm-hmm. So they're leaving. Everyone's going to the UK. Like the whole department is going to the UK, and I was like, hmm. So and even the there were recruiters from the UK who came to the to Cebu. Mm-hmm. So they were they they were recruiting nurses. And then I was I was like mm, I'm not doing anything on this day. So maybe I'll go pop by, you know, see if I can ace the interview or stuff. And then by um, whatever the result is, let's see. So I don't have any plans talaga because I was like happy in Cebu. Um we are okay financially. So yun. Yeah, and then I passed the interview. Uh I passed the interview and I was like, "Oh, it's too sayang ba not to take the opportunity because if I won't like it here in the in in the UK, so I can always go back because you know, I'm a Filipino." So, yun, it started there. Okay. And now so, I'm here. All right. <laughs> Shortcut <laughs> agad, no? <laughs> All right. So, pag-uusapan muna natin, okay? Pag-uusapan muna natin. Yung first months or how's the process of being, di ba first uh, work mo yan sa ibang bansa? How was the mm. process? Pa- Paano mo na-adapt yung pamumuhay sa ibang bansa? What was the first country po na pinuntahan agad? UK po ba? Ah, uh, UK. Okay. So, so I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna go back to how the process pa in the Philippines. Hmm. So, almost all countries, whenever, for a nurse, I'm, I'm just gonna like, um, generally, say i i think there are exceptions pero generally for nurses to work abroad you have to have experience at least for a year and then so you up in the uk you need to be um in an agency especially if you're an ofw it's really good if you're under an agency diba dolly always is it dolly or oh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> So I always say that be yeah, under oh, yeah. register. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> be, yeah, they always um say na they always advise na always get a registered agency when you go abroad. It will protect you. So yun, I applied under this agency. I thought I think I'm just gonna plug it because. <laughs> People might be interested. So I applied through Oman Phil in Cebu. Mm-hmm. And then I just chose I know which um, hospitals or trust because the the hospitals here are called are like in a collection called trust because mm-hmm. the uh, yeah. So yung um healthcare dito is um for everyone, so it's for um free for everyone so they call it a trust so i just applied to this trust and then again they went to cebu to do an interview the hr the head of the department so you have to pass that interview and then after that one the agency will let you know what were the next what are the next steps so for me after the interview i have to take english examination mm-hmm. You have to pass um, a certain grade for what country you're applying to. So, in Australia, it's different. In the US, it's different. In the UK, it's different as well. 
So after the um, English exam, you have to pass their like um, it's a computer-based exam in, for the UK. There, it's like a nursing licensure exam in the Philippines. So you have to pass that one as well. And then after that one, what else? Oh, medical. I think medical is for the uh, what's that? P O A P O E A. Or OWA. <laughs> yeah. Yes, OWA. I think it's mandatory if yeah. you're from the Philippines, if you're gonna work abroad and uh, um, OFW. I think you need medical. And then, yun, so I was able, able to do everything. And then it, it proceeded to the visa application already. So for visa application, you need your sponsor to give you a certificate that they're gonna sponsor you. Mm. You cannot apply a visa if your sponsor won't give you that certificate. So yun, uh, I got the visa and then one month after I flew, I flew to the UK. So I from arrived that, here in the UK. From that very first day of interview then, the yeah, it was like lahat. I took, mm, I, I think it took me nine months before I flew. I was um quite ano short lang di ba nine months. Baba ba din di ba kung talagang uh-huh. for example yung yung sayo kasi is like you're still you're processing all the the requirements mm-hmm. but half of you or maybe sixty percent of you is like uh, am I really gonna go to <laughs> other country my family is here this kind of stuff so parang parang oh, ang oh. ikli lang ng nine months di ba uh-huh. and then sa iba naman yung yung pinaka gusto nila is they want to go to UK right away. Maybe their family is there already. Next month. Talagang, mm, oh, ganun, <laughs> diba? Nang gusto nila mm. dun agad. In your case, talagang, nine months is very short sa pagpa-process. Mm. Yeah, that's what I felt. Like, nine months mm. is short. And then, so, after I got the interview, after a few months, maybe three to four months, I resigned. Because I was like, I cannot... Sorry guys, I'm so smart. <laughs> like I cannot do it anymore. Like yeah. I cannot work and you know look after my kid and you know be a be a good wife and mm. do the do all this review. You need uh, you, you know what I mean. Mm. So I after a few months, I resigned from the hospital that I was working before, mm. and then I started processing, and mm. it was um, actually smooth. Thank God. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Mm. So, yun na, pag-uusapan na natin yung time. I know, hindi na lang natin pag-uusapan yung departure time kasi alam ko naman that's gonna be a very <laughs> uh, heartbreaking story, right? So, so, let's just go directly sa time na nandyan ka na sa UK on your very first week. How did you adopt? Was it uh, easy sailing lang or marami talagang culture shock na nangyari? So, diba, I, I was so excited <laughs> before coming here. I will finally like feel the winter because I I arrived here in December. It was winter. Oh. So, I'm go, going to... <laughs> I'm so excited like, oh, I'm gonna see some snow probably. Ganon, mga ganon. Pero wala namang snow sa London. <laughs> so, yun. So, it was, I, re, I still remember, no? When I, I was still in the airport. And dami ko nang like um, layers. Kasi, di ba, Philippines is scorching maybe 34, 36 degrees. Then, nung yes. dumating ako dito, it was just like 6 degrees. So, and dami ko nang layers. It's, it was so different. And then, I was so amazed with all the you know, infrastructure, the architecture during that time. And then, for, I think, um... For three weeks, it was like adjustment period for us international nurses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but and then it was also good because December noon, so we were just adjusting. We were not um, sent to the ward spot immediately for the mm-hmm. you know for the guerra. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we were like, because. If you come here in the UK, I don't know with other countries, no? In the UK, if you um you work as a nurse, you're internationally internationally trained. You have to pass the OSCE exam. It's like an 
um, what you call that practical exam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the exam doesn't stop, guys, <laughs> for nurses. <laughs> yeah, and so after afternoon, parang we have uh, three weeks to prepare for the OSCE exam. So we were just always in the classroom preparing for um, return demonstrations and practical stuff. And then, yun, I think I remember, no, I all I actually cried the first two. I cried um, in the second week mm. because, guys, um, if you're in the northern hemisphere in this mm-hmm. part of the world, it is so gloomy during winter. It's true, like it's kind of depressing. Mm-hmm. And then, I it's different as well in the way uh, we live in the Philippines. Because, right? In the Philippines, we have we have sun all the time, mm-hmm. and then. Um, we have our ha- we have our house where we can see people you know in here if you i don't know with you just in japan but here like <laughs> i arrive on my own and then i still remember i was um after the practical um you know practical pra- um the what do you call this demonstrations that we had oh like umuwi ako to my flat so when I I ha, so in the flat, they we have like four uh, bedrooms. Pero mm-hmm. ma nasa like I'm just renting one bedroom, and then mm-hmm. I don't know sino yung mga taong um, with me. Iba ibang mm-hmm. lahi. Mm-hmm. So when I went to my room, 3 p.m. We finished early during that time. I still remember. Parang my room is dark. There's no sun. It's already dark at 3 p.m. during winter. There's no sun, and I was um I went to groceries. Like ang bibigat na mga dala ko, and I opened my room. It was so dark, and I actually felt like, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, that's the. If you're an OFW, you really need to be brave. Mm-hmm. And dapat di ka talaga magpadala sa mga ano yung mga kalungkutan yung mga ganun. It's okay to cry. I mean once in a while kasi natural naman 'yun. Pero you you have to be realistic na it's not always going to be rainbow days. Yes. It's not always going to be bright days. Yeah, you just have to live life day by day. That's what I've learned. Yeah. And <laughs> iba-iba kasi yung hugot ng mga OFW. What was your your mm. your big why of staying? Kasi a lot of people ah, could yeah. have, you know, you could have the 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 opportunity, but a lot of people continue, but there are a lot of people stop and then go back to the Philippines. Mm. Why you continue? What was your biggest why so um at first diba i said before i will just i know try this one out diba like if i don't i have a three-year working visa when i started so if i don't like it i'm go i'm gonna go home however it changed when i like got my family when i brought my family here it changed because now i'm thinking i want to get the Hopefully, I want to get the citizenship because um, I want my son to be, you know, be a little bit independent to mm-hmm. have the different passport because our mm-hmm. passport is very limited, diba? Right? We cannot really travel everywhere. We have to apply to all of these countries. It's so difficult. So, yeah. Now, although I really want to go home, to be honest, guys, <laughs> because I miss the sun. And pero I'm still I know I'm still gonna stay so that I can give that um, citizenship hopefully to my son because it's for his future now. So mga ilang years before mo na invite isa isa yung member of the family. When who was the first person na na invite mo to stay with you? So I know um. I brought my husband here first, but um, 
matagal na nga yun eh. I think I I was able to bring him here after nine months pa. Because, mm-hmm. di ba, it was COVID. To 2020. Yes. It was COVID. So, every airport is, uh, was, um, every airport was like close or mm-hmm. may mga limitations to en- enter every country. So, after nine months, I brought my husband here. And then, the next year, maybe after six or eight months, I went back home, applied for um, my son's visa to stay with me. So if you're in the UK, you can bring, if you're working here, you can bring your family, your immediate family only, like to live with you. Mm -hmm. Um, They will be under dependent visa. Mm -hmm. So you just have to go to the, um, the site and then apply for dependent visa. And then, yun. After noon, mga next year, umuwi ulit ako. <laughs> I miss the sun. And then, umuwi ulit kami. <laughs> umuwi ulit kami. And then, we decided ba na, okay, um, um, we let, let's start bringing our parents if we have, like, um, funds. Mm-hmm. ba? Kasi, our parents have been, like, working hard before Yes. My my fa- my parents, my husband's parents. So, um, it's already like we have those plans, and then we just started like we cannot bring two parents at the same time or four of them together because it will need um, mahal di- mahal yung ano di- <laughs> mahal yung lahat. airfare. Oh, oh, actually, mahal yung especially dito Philippines to here because di ba on the oh. other side yes. pa ng globe. So mm-hmm. yun. So we just started ano na lang um to bring first my my mama for for your parents you can bring we can bring them them uh, here under tourist visa so maximum will be 6 months although pwede pa meron talagang like 2 years 5 years but mas ma- grabe mahal na yun diba <laughs> kasi you have to pay for their stay so yun, um, yun, God provided us and then we were able to bring my mom here and then yun, it was a happy day. <laughs> it was a happy time nung nandito si mama kasi, now, you know, nakakahelp siya sa amin in mm. regards to taking care of my son in the house, household chores kasi mm. nagtatrabaho kami post ng asawa ko. Mm-hmm. Yun lang, yung mga OFW na nandito talaga sa ibang bansa, they came here to work. Mm-hmm. Like if we might we might post pictures na oh, we went here, we we bought this stuff. But mm-hmm. that's the only time we were able to have our, you know, relaxation and um to enjoy what we we worked for. Tino Ojud na. Maka relate na sad ko an. <laughs> Actually, there is a, dito sa dito sa Japan, sobrang ano, iba din yung culture like like mm. space talaga like kahit na dikit-dikit sila, it seems that they are very far from each other. Yung parang this kahit kahit ginanon mo na, parang I don't know you, I don't talk to you. Ganun. So, uh. na, nakaka-culture shock lahat-lahat but Ang, ang gusto ko lang iyan, no, I want to go back yung feeling na okay si mama nando na sa ay nanja nasa and how mm. did you feel when she experienced those? Kasi first time yung bang magibang bansa or oh 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 mm, oh first diba? time ni mama magibang bansa kasi well ang dami <laughs> ang dami yu wala pang wala nga siyang birth certificate eh. <laughs> Wow, so, yeah. so big sabihin yung pagpunta niya dyan is really from scratch, from birth certificate, mm. issuing, ano pa, nag, nag late registered pa ba si mama? Hindi <laughs> 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 naman. Nag, kumuha pa siya ng passport, yung mga gano'n. Oh. Pero thank God, um, we were able to, ano, pass all those trials. At mm. least na, may birth certificate na siya. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
Alright. Nakaka-ano, kasi nakaka-inspire because I've never had the, what I call this, meron ako mga plan, of course, but we never mm. came true pa. It's gonna be a big, long process, but if God's pro- if God provide, talaga magpo-provide naman siya kasi nagsisikap naman tayo. Um, mm-hmm. It will happen, and I think it will be the biggest gift that I can give to my mom. Kahit sobrang lapit lang, <laughs> Japan, one hour lang yung difference, di ba? So, how much more sa, sa, sa binigay mo na, 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 parang pa-present na rin, di ba? Hindi niya yun makakalimutan. So, mm-hmm. Actually, mm, yun. Yeah. So, ano yung I, feedback niya? I will niya pray after, for after you. That, <laughs> <laughs> what was your her feedback after that very experience of traveling in your kitchen? Ano, si mama? <laughs> <laughs> yung mom ko kasi, it's like, um, very, ano lang siya, um, very... Chill lang ba? <laughs> Very passive. Simple. I know. Simple. Yung mga ganun. So, kung anong ibibigay mo sa kanya, o ina-access niya. Uh-huh. So, yung mga ganun. So, nung dumating siya dito, I think, masaya naman siya. Pero, I, I know you've met my mom. Hindi, hindi siya expressive, di ba? <laughs> Ayun yung mga drama. Hindi siya masyadang expressive. Mm. <laughs> so, I think, mo. Masaya naman siya at first kasi uh, we arrived uh, here at first sorry <laughs> kasi we arrived summer I think mm. yung um, the only thing na parang di niya sa dong gusto is yung lamig of course <laughs> Mad- kasi ang lamig, lamig talaga <laughs> six di ba six mm. oh nagnele kasi he, she stayed for six months so in Je- mm. January and February Yeah, January. Nagiging sometimes nagna negative, eh. negative one, mm. negative two. So parang nilalamig siya always. Yung mga ganon. Then gusto ko sana kasi me kasi bata pa siguro no kaya mm. nakakaya ko yung lamig. So we all we go out to the park. Yung mga ganon. We ha, we will have a long walk, mga one hour, mm. two hours. Kasi uso yung mga walking walking dito, di ba? I oh, think in Japan as well. Na. <laughs> Oo, no. pero nag, parang tumatakbo lahat kasi nagmamadali. <laughs> ayaw nila. Ayaw nila may kapag-usap sa'yo. <laughs> ah, foreigner, let's go. <laughs> Ganun yung dito eh. Oo. Oo. Kasi dito, so, parang yun yung hmm. culture. At the same time, we have a very strong communication barrier. Isipin mo. Ah. So, mm-hmm. diba? so sa, sa dyan, kahit na yung siguro kapag nandiyan ako ma culture shock ako sa accent pero kalaunan parang maano naman yung english natin di ba maintindihan oo oh, oh, oh. i didn't uh, i didn't actually i don't know like mention about the accent yun talaga yung oh. accent <laughs> nung yeah, nagstart yeah. ako sa hospital ay grabe mm. sabi ko ano to hand over hand over no so mm. Between shifts, diba? Yung mga nurses, yes, night sure. shift, hand over to the yeah. morning shift. And then, nandun yeah. yung mga doktor, nag-around. Yeah. Sabi ko, oh my God, ano yung sinasabi nila? Wala ka naiintindihan. Wala talaga ako naiintindihan. Sabi ko, English ba to? Sinasabi ko talaga. Like, hala, binabasa ko na lang yung notes. Kasi, <laughs> dapat may subtitle. <laughs> dapat, ah, uh, dapat may subtitle. Parang Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko sometimes hindi ko ma, ano ba English ba to English ba yung sinabi niya <laughs> yung mga ganun din oh. may mga ibang tawag sila sa mga bagay-bagay like for mm. for example we say um your elevator you lift it? mga ganun oh so, yung mga ganun uh, and then pitcher we say pitcher no sa tubig so mm. parang gusto sinabi ko ba um, can you get a picture please yung para para may tubig yung lalagyan ko ng tubig yung mm. basa may ano sabi niya what's a picture sabi ko what's the English another English of picture <laughs> yung mga ganon so eventually naman thank God na for almost four years na ako dito alam may nasasanay na ako sa mga words nila yung accent nila pero sometimes kapag nagjojoke na sila iba kasi yung joke nila dito like may mga hindi ko alam may ibang tawag sila sa mga bagay-bagay talaga sabi ko hindi ko magets yung joke right, sorry right. na lang talaga Bright, yeah. bright ilang joke. Mm. <laughs> Kaya padaghanay og vocabulary, di ba? Yung joke. Oh, oh. Paramihan ang vocabulary. 
So, yeah, na yan din yung napansin ko sa pag pag nag uh, ano kami nag diba, nag English teacher ako dito tapos yung estudyante gustong-gusto niya talaga yung British na vocabulary ganun ganun sabi ko pa tayo pa tayo ganun So wow napaka ano napaka tower dito thank you talaga sa time alam ko naman na limited lang yung time kasi nagsabi po si Mom Peds ng ano uh, meron po siyang appointment after this so oh. Act- and I think actually hmm, that- Yeah, yeah, it's sure. my, I know, it's my, it's my mistake. Cause I thought 11 a.m. here is already seven o'clock in the Philippines, oh, oh. and then <laughs> my appointment kasi ako sa doctor, uh, so uh, okay lang, <laughs> I okay cannot lang. really stay long. No, no. Actually, yung mga sinabi niyo po, yung mga nabanggit niyo po, especially yung mga processes ng pag apply sa UK, and that's a very good thing po na na napag-usapan po sa Frank Talks yung opportunity din sa UK at mm. ako hindi ko naman feel yung pag pag nurse but it's gonna be a very parang kung ako kung ako lang kung may pera ako nag nurse mag nurse sana ako eh di ba so kami uh-huh. ni ala, I think you know Sherlyn Ambos right yeah 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 Sherlyn Ambos is a friend of mine and during that time before we yung graduation namin umupunta punta kami sa mga 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 university and we tried to mm. get that ano, nursing ah kaso nga lang ano mahal <laughs> pero siya libre libre naman siya di ba kasi valedictorian mm. namin tayo tayong mga hindi naman tayo ganun di ba so <laughs> ikaw salutatorian so parang kaya sa <laughs> oh kaya gosh. sa utak <laughs> oy shout out pala salutatorian po yung ano natin <laughs> oh, that was that was in the past guys <laughs> Alam ko na ikita yung yung tawag dito yung yung tawag dito pagbibigay ng information when it comes to opportunities kasi um, dito kasi sa Frank Talks po the main objective is to really help widen the horizon of opportunities ng OFW at mabuksan yung hmm. tawag dito yung opportunity na yun through the experiences and as much as possible ma educate din sila na hindi basta basta yeah. lang it takes nine months it takes Uh, maybe if you are working already in in UK, it takes time para makapunta sa 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 ibang mm. sa ibang sa ibang bansa. So of course we have 41 minutes na na consume ng time natin kay Mom Bed. So what would be your message po sa mga gustong sa mga nurses or sa kalahatang OFW ngayon na nag naggustong magtrabaho sa ibang bansa? I mean the Filipinos na nag na nag-iisip pa na magpunta sa ibang bansa. What would be your 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 piece of advice or inspiration? So, um, for those people who are planning to go abroad, it's um, actually it's a very good experience. I really think you should do it. Although it takes time, ganyan naman talaga yung buhay. You cannot really get what you want instantly, di ba? So, you have to work for it talaga. If you really want something, you have to work for it. And then, the only thing, no, na now, yung nakikita ko is, um, don't um, really dwell on negative stuff. Kasi, just keep, I know it's hard. I know it's hard when you say stay positive, stay positive. It's really hard to be positive in especially in the in our times. Kasi a lot of problems are here. Inflation is here. Yung mga ganun, it's really hard to stay positive. Pero um just um work be have a just work to have a grateful heart. Yung mga ganun, clear your mind, focus on your goal. I think that's the Im- most important thing, and always be yun grateful. Always um, what you call this? Just keep in mind that God is really always watching you. If you do good, God will also give you something good, something better for your life. Yun lang actually. Negativity. I know. Throw those um, negative vibes away, because na hindi talaga nakaka ano nakakatulong sa atin yung nagiging negative tayo. Oh my God, we only have we we were <laughs> able to talk for only 40 plus minutes and but napaka bombarding yung mga 
mga inihain, <laughs> ininject <laughs> ng nurse natin sa UK. <laughs> oh, diba? Napili din ako ng vocabulary. Last time kasi is, chef, so inihain. This time, wow. so, ininject. Good job. <laughs> Sort yun, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, good kapag, job. <laughs> nakaiba talaga kapag yung yung ini-interview mo is someone that you know and you're actually very mm. proud of her success. Ganun po yung nafi-feel ko like. Oh, um, thank I also, you. I also contacted some of I think common friend or common people na alam natin sila Sir Adelia. I'm actually expecting mm. that we will have another interview sa mga kilala natin. So, mm. that um, will be a ko, good interview as well being a teacher yeah. in the US. Yeah. So sobrang sobrang nakaka-excite talaga yung mga mga kaganapan dito sa Frank Talks and marami talagang nagme-message yung mga nagtawag dito nag nag nagdi-DM sa at kina how how informative, nakaka-relate sila. Gusto ko yung usapin niyo doon yung, yung nagbabasura sir sir. Gusto ko yung yung baka dito mm. din yung yung si Ma'am Ped, si yung si Nurse Ped, di ba? So oh, actually when you reach out to me Oh, mm-hmm. when you reach out to me, I feel I felt na I didn't really hesitate because I know this mm. will be for a good cause. Like sometimes people need to be pushed, ba? You know, you know what I mean? Na, like nagano sila na like um, shall I go or hesitant? Mm. Shall I go or not? So this is very informative. This is a very good show that you have. Kudos to you. Yay! <laughs> Nakakatulong din siya kasi alam naman natin na hindi ato marunong mag-Japanese tapos nandito tayo sa Japan. <laughs> And then, oh, I understand. Oh, I understand. Oh, oh. <laughs> kung kung nafe-feel mo yung feeling na walang kausap dyan na nag english naman, lalo na ako mm. dito. And it's very nice community kasi may makakausap ka, nakaka, mm. nakaka, nakaka-relate at higit sa lahat, nakakaintindi kung ano yung mga mga pinag-uusapan natin and yeah. sobrang thank you talaga sa time. <laughs> kumbaga, kumbaga nga, you like, I know, you express your creativity in another out, ano, uh, di ba? In another way. This is your outlet. Totoo. That's good. Thank you so At much. At least this will make you, I know, um, what do you call this? This will productive. make you, oh, oh, productive ba? And then, OSW talaga, life is lonely even though you have your family you still need some people to talk to, di ba? So this is very good. <laughs> And then, a lot, mayroon din nagtanong sa akin, kaya mo kaya to Frank kapag ano na, abli ng klase sa Japan kasi close pa yung yung pupuntahan oh, ko na. Oh, they start in September, no? Nag-start they na start sila pero September. yung 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 pupuntahan ko na school hindi pa siya open kasi ano siya, first mm-hmm. teacher ako doon. Isa sa mga first teacher oh, group. Wow, and, pioneer! So, oh, di ba, pioneer. <laughs> Kaso nga lang, first na maano si Tajok. <laughs> di naman. <laughs> Pero, yeah, pinag-ano uh, natin yun, yung gano'n na kaba. And then, what if, mabisi na din tayo doon. So, ako pa gagawa ng mga gano'n-gano'n curriculum, gano'n-gano'n. So, Mam busy pero sabi ko sa sarili ko no, the one one motivation the the biggest why of continuing this Frank talk especially for Filipinos OFWs and in the Philippines ano na lang yung yung objective ko is something na rason na hindi siya pwedeng ma- matigil and that's as long as there's a Filipino wanting to share their story and I only have two ears na willing makinig, I think we have to continue Frank Talks. Kasi minsan, if you are a, a, a Facebook content creator, you count the views, you count the reactions, you count the comments. And I'm so tired of that. Wow. <laughs> I do YouTube before. I'm so tired I'm so uh, tired of that. I do YouTube before and I'm so exhausted of doing that. And I realize, you know, two people watching it, one person watching it, It's gonna be a story. So, yung time na nag-start ako, may na, may na may nanood lang na na 10 and then the next day it becomes 1000. Like mm-hmm. wow. So, I think the main reason of I mean the main objective, I mean ano ba? Objective siya or reason or curriculum? <laughs> You call it whatever you want. No, you call it whatever you want, really. It's it's um Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's very noble of you to do mm-hmm. this. 
main drive here is mm-hmm. basta may nanood at yung tao na kausap ko is willing talagang i-share yung buhay niya to inspire other people this frank talks will continue so thank you so much for being here <laughs> oh thank you i feel so honored to be honest <laughs> <laughs> This And is my first pinaka, time. Ito yung pinakauna <laughs> na nasa Northern Hemisphere na nakontakt ko. So, oh. sobrang kaba ko din. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we all, I think it's already 49 minutes and I think you have to go kasi yung appointments sa ibang bansa hindi pwede uh, talk. Uh, pwede next day na lang. <laughs> oh, no. Hindi ganaw. Oh. So, Let's say bye-bye to everyone and see you. I hope my part to tayo pag-uusapan kasi hindi lang yung milestone niya ngayon yung pag- yung ma- mabibigay ay maibibigay ni Lord sa kanya. Marami pa. So maybe after how many months we're going to talk about another success story of Cross Nurse our fingers. Bag. Yes. <laughs> Amen. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So again, um sa mga taga Luzon, Kabayan, Laban lang at diri sa Frank in Japan. Padayon lang. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely Thank time. <laughs>